uh welcome to today's uh something little bit so today we are going to discuss something about uh, how coordinates are uh, calculated uh, from any given example that uh, those our uh, fellows the the neck can give us so this is just a simple calculation or a thought that can help you in any calculation that may be brought to you in any case uh in the next examination you can tackle it so uh these are lectures by grace steven so a lecturer at matili technical uh, training institute in kimilele bongoma county so let's go directly to our question and here this question i got it from a diploma in land survey 2023 july series so this is their question so calculate the coordinate of c so just simple like that so we are given point a and b so we have those two points there point a and b then we had the coordinates of the same so the coordinates under there and nothing on the easting for both a and b and the easting for both a and b then we were given the observed bearings from a to c and from b to c so these are bearings so these are the uh, <clears throat> normal bearing or the four bearings that we were given here so this question was just simple like that so they needed for us to calculate the coordinate of c so c is the value that is unknown here uh we have many calculations but i will use the simplest uh, on which you can understand easily so here uh, we were given two angles uh, for hc and for bc uh, having a look at this question i tried a lot of uh, ways then i found the simplest way that i could use in order for us to get the coordinate of c and that simple uh, formula came from these uh, formulas under the traversing so here we have turn of the bearing is equal to departure over latitude of that line and then length a b is equal to departure over sine uh, of that line and the same the length a b is equal to latitude over the course and then the square root of uh, the departure and the square root of the uh, of the square of the latitude i will give you the same uh, the length found here uh, so the departure is the difference between uh, the easting of b and that of a and the latitude is the difference between the nothing of b and that of so that is the difference that we are using in order for us to have all these sums found uh, here so the departure is the easting of the previous so that is the easting of the previous minus the easting of the first so line a b will have to minus the easting of b uh, and that of a uh, over the sign bearing then the same length a b is equals to uh, the nothing of b minus the nothing of a over cos of that bearing so that is just the simple calculation that i'm going to be comparing in all those calculations in order for us to get the right solutions here so here is the solution so i compared the distances so we were given uh the bearings of a c and b c so i saw it best for me to compare these uh two uh, bearings with the same length so from a to c then from b to c uh, you can have that so a can be somewhere here then to c and then b to c at a bearing of uh 53 22 37 so this is just a simple illustration so i compare the 
values of both the A and C and B and C. So directly here we go. So the length AC is equals to so the length of AC is equals to the departure uh, of C. This is the easting of C minus the easting of A in which here in this case we have already been given in the question. So here are the easting of A and that of B and the nothing of A and that of B. So we have been given those value in our questions. So the easting of C minus the easting of so this is the easting of A over sine the uh, bearing of that line. So the bearing of that line was given to us on the question there. And then AC is equals to Y. So here we have Y. C uh, minus so this is the nothing of C minus the nothing of A which we were given. So that is the nothing of A which were given in the question. Then of a course once so that is 126 uh, 08 26 so these are the and uh, so we were given here so the cos and the so the cos and the sign i uh, will get that from um, what we have been given here in the observed bearings of ac uh, so these are the things and the nothing of a then again we compare the value of so length a so length bc we have compared let ac uh, both in lat departure and latitudes so we do the same to the length bc so the length bc we subtract the easting of c uh, which we have been uh, given here so the easting of uh, b here so this is the easting of b uh, has been subtracted from that of c and the c is our unknown so this is the easting of b then the nothing of b also so here is a subtraction so that is uh, uh, this is yc minus uh, 15 61.00 so you remember that you can add that uh, on the uh, on here the question in order to make sure you have the uh, correct thing correct thing in our calculations so there we have a, a minus the yeah. so that is the correct thing uh, so this is the nothing of this is nothing of b that was given to us here on the question so this is nothing of b given to us here on the question and also the easting of the same so i have compared using that formula so uh, over there uh, this is the sign sign of the value that we have been given here so the sign uh, 53 then here again so here we correct so here is cos 50 so this is the cos uh, cos 50 53 degrees so remember that you can correct that again so this goes um, cos 53 uh, 22 uh, 37 so we are comparing uh, from the question from the equations here so these are the equation that I'm comparing so the length of that line so this is the first comparison and the second comparison because they share something in common and that something in common is the line that is subtended on the same in comparison of the two uh, by doing that we go directly to our comparison of the data that we had been given so by the use of a calculator you simplify so you find the the value of the signs and the cos the signs and the cos then you cross multiply 
Uh, so this is the first uh, so this is the comparison of the uh, first data found here so that is the length ac the comparison of the length ac so this is the comparison of the length of uh, ac then this is comparison of the length uh, bc so by the use of a calculator you cross multiply in order for you to uh, remain with simple solutions so by cross multiplying it so the values will move across each other so here we'll have a comparison of what we have cross multiplied here the same on the second equation of uh, bc so we do simplify it and after simplifying it we uh, simplify more so we remove the brackets and we multiply after removing the brackets and multiplying uh, by the use of a calculator you remember that so you will remain with uh, the values that you can observe here on the screen so this is that for the first equation then this is for the second equation so this comparison for ac and bc both of them are uh, in a simplified solution so here we are getting two unknowns and i wanted to get the two unknowns in order for me to use simultaneous equation in order to uh, simplify this you can use the direct uh, method or the simultaneous equation so by doing this uh comparison of the first equation and the second equation by the use of the simultaneous equation i multiply it with the common value so i have chosen uh, that of the nothing so by multiplying uh, these values across i will have a simple equation uh, that is seen here on the uh, screen so by having this simple equation you remember the something uh, under the simultaneous equation so the same sign we subtract so by subtracting these two values we'll find a zero so the yc will disappear here and will remain with the xc this is the easting of c so by subtracting these two uh, we'll get a positive value of the uh, that of the xc and by subtracting this also will get a positive value uh, by dividing uh, 0 0.4855 to both our two values there we'll have our x uh, c this is the easting of c as 5942.66 and then we go ahead and we simplify the other so after finding our xc as that you can use any equation that you had there earlier so i have used my first equation and multiplied the value that i had so this is the xc the value that i'm multiplying here so this is the multiplication of our formula that we had earlier by multiplying that i'll have removed the xc then i'll remain there with the yc so having remaining that i uh, shift the values so i'll have my uh, yc on one side and the simplified value on the other side so by dividing it with a negative 4.5 five uh, nine uh, both the two sides i will get my final answer as three thousand three hundred and uh, twenty six point four two so this is the nothing of our value so that is the nothing and the easting by doing that we'll have gotten the coordinates of c the easting and the nothing so that was just a simple way on how you can do that there are more ways in which this question can be tackled
uh, but these are found it to be uh, a little bit easier and understanding to all the levels including the land survey the building and the civil quantity so each and every single one of them so this is how you can do it uh thank you for having your time so remember to subscribe to the channel uh hit the thumbs up like comment uh you can leave a question there and we'll get back to you so thank you and that will be all for now